In this episode, I'll be introducing you to an Imagine That Laser Art Products Elevated Chicago Train Kit. It comes as a whole bunch of different packages. You can think of it as a series of different kits that you put together to make one big one. And talk about instructions. Boy, oh boy, you got a whole pile of them. They're really good about giving you instructions. The parts are exceptionally well cut out, well thought out, but you do have to be very careful with them. These parts are extremely fragile. Anytime you want a really nice kit, if you want it in the appropriate scale, it's got to be very fragile. Now I like to color my kits with my weathering powders. There's no drying time, there's no warping. One of the things that I did find that I needed to be exceedingly careful with are these cross tie sets. They're very thin, you have to be very careful, so I added tape to it to keep them from coming apart. Now this program is not showing you every tidbit, it's not taking away from the directions because there's a lot of directions, but it does give you a flavor of how it goes together. Now this was a very fun project. It came out really 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 well. Look at that. It comes out just beautiful. The kit itself took me about four hours to build and the display took me another oh about four hours to build. The model itself came out so good that I decided I needed a display for it. It deserved it. So I got an old piece of foam out, dug around my treasure chest which is mostly junk but a few jewels and found some of these old model kits of buildings that I'd never put together. So I built some buildings and I started playing with them thinking about how they'd fit together, how would the elevated train sit, how would it look right. Then I started adding stuff. In my mind there's no such thing as too much detail. So I dug around and saw what I had, had some old backdrop, had some things laying around and being foam I hate that blue look in the side of foam so I put a nice texture on it. Started thinking about what would this scene be? What are these people doing? That's probably the single most important thing in making a scene worthwhile, making it look real. What are these people doing? Are they going to work? Are they walking around? What's happening? As you can see each one of these pictures there's more and more detail. I've got trees, I've got street lamps. I've got all kinds of stuff involved. Now I had to try to fit the elevated train to the display. I did make a couple of mistakes. I had a couple of things in the wrong place so I had to move them. But after fiddling with it some, man all of a sudden it just looked real. I really really liked this project. It was a lot of work but it was a lot of fun work. Anytime you have a model you might want to think about what are you going to do with it. I especially like the underside here of the elevated train. How am I going to make it look more like the original? How can I make it look a little more real? Well this was a great fun project putting together the elevated Chicago train set from the Imagine That Laser Art Products folks. Thanks for joining me on this episode and come back and see me again sometime. Enjoy your trains. Bye now.